all right welcome back to another video this video i'm going to be filling this lovely little butterfly big butterfly <laughs> i am going to mix up actually i'm gonna measure before but i think i'm gonna mix about eight ounces and i am going to take this chameleon powder very beautiful blue, purple, red. Oh, I forgot it's got this thing on. You can't see. <laughs> but I am going to take that and dust like these little sections of the mold, the body, the antennas. And probably do, I guess, really all the lines of the wings because I want them to stand out as well and then what I'm going to do is take this these micas that I got from this pack of 18 don't know how to pronounce that but uh, off of Timu I'm gonna take the yellow the orange the rose red and the teal I'm gonna mix them up in these little containers and then I'm going to pour them in here <clears throat> and once I've dusted the body with that I'm going to take this and I believe what I'm going to do is just kind of maybe go from the top to the bottom and pour it out and have it kind of make its way outward that's the idea. <laughs> I'm going to use these little paint brushes to help do that. Just little lines. I'll get another paintbrush for the bigger stuff. Some stir sticks to stir up my micas. And this little black thing came with this pack, so that was pretty cool. It's a measuring scoop. All right, so let's go ahead and get this project going. Before we do that though, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for coming and watching my video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you're a current subscriber, thank you so much. If you are a, uh, new to my channel, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. I've been having a lot of fun playing with resin lately using all these molds that I've gotten from Tinu. All right, so when I come back, I'm gonna have everything mixed up and we'll get going on this. And I will, yeah, no, I might start this, but I'll show you what I'm doing on that too. All right, so I'm gonna squirt everything down with some 99% isopropyl alcohol and then I will take each color and fill up the four cavities of this split cup. The rose red, the orange, and we'll move on to the yellow. And then we'll go on to the green. And once I have that in there, we'll get it poured into the butterfly.
And then I'm going to finish off the four colors in the corresponding spots. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then we'll move on to the next step. Get the last little bit out of there. And these are going to be the flowers that I'm going to use. And I will take the remaining epoxy that I mixed up and fill, I end up filling up three of these light switch covers that were from Timu. In one of my last hauls. Excuse the loud car going by. <laughs> I'm just going to fill in the three of these and use that little silicone stir sticks thingy to spread it out all evenly so it's touching all of the edges of these covers. And these are the three that we're going to use. Once I have this all evened out, I'm going to take these pretty little flowers and randomly put them in the covers, in the epoxy, upside down, so that when these are turned around, they'll be facing the right way. <laughs> Nothing like having some backwards flowers in your light switch covers, <laughs> or anything really. I'm just going to go ahead and pick them up and place them where I think they are going to look good. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the, I don't use any of the greenery, you'll see that here in a sec. But just the flower parts. And I got a little visitor coming up here soon. He uh, likes to get involved with my arts sometimes. <laughs> and here he is. Hmm. You found a water bottle? This water bottle, and I want to decorate it. Ah. Yeah, we could probably decorate that. I don't know. We can do. Put glue on it and put some glue. Put plastic. Yeah, do it on plastic. Still, like, a year old. Of There's stuff water. in there. <laughs> There's you. This is a year old of water. This water is a yield. Is this a profit? Let me see. It is a profit. Yeah. I got that for Kaylani. Cheyenne's daughter, the one that's in cheerleading. Yeah. My grandbaby. Hmm. I'm thinking like this cover. I'm gonna say hi. We're gonna say hi. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Sorry, don't. Okay, another cute. Yep. <coughs> Dainty. All right, so I have here in this cup, these are dry and ready to go to the next step. And I figure since I did clear with these, I am going to go with a white background so you don't see behind the switch plates. In this cup, I've got two ounces, one of part A of counterculture DIY and one ounce of part B. I'm going to use this handy dandy little stir stick and see how well it works. Hello? Hello? Hey. Yeah? All right, so I think that's mixed up good enough. And 
There are lots of bubbles in there, but we'll spray that with some rubbing alcohol. Get some of them bubbles out. Take a couple drops of this Alumalite. And stir that together. Gonna pour this in here and hope that I have enough. up the right amount. I obviously did not measure these because there was already the mold resin in there, so yay for me. <laughs> All right, we're going to squirt these down. And let them sit for 24 hours. And then we'll be ready to demold them. All right, so for this butterfly, you may have noticed before I poured this that I didn't do the Camellia mica powder like I had planned on, like I had wanted to. So I'm gonna change directions with this. And I am going, this is cured. I'm going to finish pouring, filling this up with some old um, Craft Smart resin, part A and B. And I am going to put in some of this Acrylic Flow Black by Artist Loft. I'm gonna pour that into, mix some of that into my resin. I'll just pour a little bit in there Get that mixed up. You don't want to put too much in because then the ratios of the chemistry will be off and it won't cure correctly.
like I poured too much this time. I'm going to get down eye level to see how much room I have, which I got plenty. Hope I don't get powder everywhere. Let's go ahead and use this chameleon powder on this candle holder. It's probably not enough for that, but it's all right. Light me up, don't you stop. Cause tonight it's on the line. Show me how you get on down. Close my eyes, take me for. Looks like I got it all. And then put a lid on this. And I'll just pour this in. the perfect amount all right so get some more mixed up right quick all right so I mixed up 30 more milliliters <clears throat> hopefully that'll do it
looks like it's pretty level. All right, I am going to let this sit. Watch for little air bubbles, and then we'll come back. I'll be ready to demold. See you in a sec. All right, so these are all ready to be demolded. I'm so excited for them. I'm going to go ahead and start with the butterfly since that was the main um, mold here. This is peeling out or demolding very nicely. Nice and clean, very nice. That's nice and shiny. Ready, ready, ready. Ooh. Look, I think my <laughs> micas didn't get fully uh, mixed in, but wow, that looks awesome. Very few minor little air pockets, air bubbles, none really here. All right, so I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take a black marker for my Poscas. And <clears throat> color this in. I'll go ahead and leave the antennas the colored though because you wouldn't be able to see them if they were black. <laughs> but if they were the mic, the chameleon, like I wanted to do, you would be able to. I'm not trying to take away from too much of the colors, but I do want to give it some more definition. Oops. All right, so I'm not going to bore you with doing this whole thing. So we will move on to the next molds. But I will have this ready in the final results, the ending of the video. It's going to look pretty cool. Probably have to go with a paintbrush to get closer. 
like I want. Go over where I touched it. <laughs> I think it's gonna look rather cool. And I will probably go over it with one thin layer of epoxy. But that's gonna look pretty cool. Okay. And let's move on to the light switch covers. See how well my vision turned out. I'll take them all out first. Make sure that black's drying out of my hands. pretty. I love how it turned out. You won't be able to see the background. All the holes are cleared. I don't see hardly, I don't see really any air bubbles. Look at that. They're so pretty. I love them. I love these. <laughs> very pretty, very pretty. I do say so myself, those are very pretty. Nice and smooth and shiny. All right, now let's check out this. This is a tea can light candle holder. All right, we'll just separate it. Look at that. That's so pretty. Got most of it all covered. Air bubbles. That is pretty cool. All right. So in the final results, or the ending video, <laughs> I will have the butterfly finished and get better pictures of these. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making all of these. They were quite fun. Looking forward to putting these up in my bathroom. And thank um if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and welcome. 
if you are returning to my channel thank you so much thank you so much either way <laughs> and um that's gonna do it for this video so have a good day have a good night whatever it may be for you and i will see you in my next video take care Only one, only one, only one